Hi guys, today I am going to teach you how to create a concrete poem within the app Google Drawing. So let's head over and look at a couple options that we have. <clears throat> so what we could do is create a template um, and then follow the outline and create uh, a poem in the shape of that object. Or I could use some text in text squares and shape them out and then mess around with the colors to make it into an object. So I'm going to teach you both ways, but let's start with something that looks like this, something similar. So what I'm going to do is since we haven't created this as an, um, we haven't given you your own Google drawing or your own Google slides, you'll have to create your own within your drive. So head on over to your drive. And then what you're going to want to do is click on new from there when we are doing a google drawing you're going to have to click on more because it's not on that initial screen so once you ho hover over more google drawings will be the first one to pop up on that menu click on google drawings <clears throat> and today we are going to write a poem a concrete poem about the best animal on the planet, which we all know are kitties. So I'm gonna call this one cat. And what I'm gonna do here is use this text box. You're gonna use this often. Um, so let's click on that and I'm going to stretch it out. For this one, I'm just gonna use it as my title. So title, oop, let's spell it right. And then I'm gonna say bye, Miss Hawthorne. Um, or I could just say cat are the best okay now i am going to kind of use a guide <clears throat> an outline so what i want to do is go to insert i'm going to go to image search the web and i am going to look up cat template so if I was looking up a dog, or maybe my dog ran away, or maybe I'm looking up COVID-19, maybe I'm looking up a piece of bacteria or virus bacteria, um, or if I'm looking up a house or people, I could, whatever I'm searching up, I need to follow it by the word template. <clears throat> and then I'm going to hit enter. Let's move my picture over there. Okay, and now I'm going to look and see which shape do I like the best. I don't want to pick something super dark like this one because I'm going to be typing over it and I'm not going to be able to see that very well unless I'm using white, um, a white font text. Okay, let's go scroll, scroll, scroll. Let's find that one that I used earlier. There it is. Look at that cutie. So I'm going to take it. I'm going to pull it over. There we go. Let's get out of there. Let's move my face over here. Okay, now that's pretty tiny. So my poem, what I had already drafted in my planner is way longer um, than what I can squeeze into that kitty. So that means I need to make my kitty a little bit bigger, but I need to stay within this Google drawing background. So I might have to do some stretching here. Okay, that looks pretty good. I might go a little bit down here, um, maybe a little down here. Okay, and then from here, I can't just start typing on it, so I've got to go back to this beautiful text box. So I'm going to click on that, and now I've got to stretch it out to make sure I've got all of these cat body parts on there, and that looks good. Okay, so now I can start typing my draft. <clears throat> so for this, I obviously don't want to have words over here. That's not going to be the shape of my cat. So I can hit the space bar, but what's faster is you're going to hit that tab. Tab, 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 tab. But when I get close, I need to slow down. And I might say, um, let's call it tip. Tip of, and then, ooh, that is not even on there. So then I know. Okay, now I'm going to go down. Tab, 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 tip of the here, tab, 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 so cute, I might even do a period there, the, let's see, tab, 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 the best animal to ever 
best animal that okay for the sake of this video I am not just gonna wing it and write a poem I'm going to just kind of do some fill in here so do 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 I'm just eyeballing it making sure that I'm within the cat's structure and now I've got a couple letters there for the tail and now I'm on a little bit of the body right and then I need to pause a little bit there and then I can keep typing press the enter button tab 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 I'm typing I'm typing I'm typing I'm typing I'm typing okay so you guys kind of get the picture here right <clears throat> okay let's pretend <laughs> that I have gotten all of it done. <clears throat> what I wanna do next is I can't leave that cat there. So I need to get rid of that cat. And in order to do that, I need to make sure I'm clicking off of the text box and clicking on the cat. And then I can just hit the delete button. So right now I only have the head of a cat um, just because I didn't want you guys to have to watch all of that but here's one it's complete and again I just kind of did some um, fill in there not the actual poem do not do this you need to actually be writing your draft okay so that is one way you can create your concrete poem by searching up an image making a template using it take it away voila another way like the way I did this poem is to kind of build it yourself so I'm gonna go back in and do a new one so I go to new I go to more in Google Drawings. Okay, let's say we're gonna do a house. Ooh, I'm gonna call it the house. I get annoyed when I see untitled. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna do a lot of text boxes for this. Um, let's say I wanna do a triangle. So I could kind of, gotta do it myself. Um, I have to kind of think about what shape is the roof. And then I'm going to do some of this, okay? Now, let's say, now that's not the most perfect thing, but let's say I like that. Now, I'm going to have like a column. I'm going to make another thing here. And let's say this is upside down. Maybe I want to have some upside down features. Um, and then I'm going to have all of this. Okay, what I want to do, if this is really upside down, I'm going to right click on that box and I'm going to hit rotate and I'm flipping it vertically. That means up and down. Vertical means up and down. And I want this flipped. So look at that, my words are upside down now. And you know what, it would probably make more sense if I had it on this side. So maybe I start here and then my person reads over here. Um, and then I wanna hit more text box and I can just create any shape that I want. Here, I'm doing more poetry that I've already drafted. Now, what I could do here is if I want the background different, I can have the fill in. So I need to click on this paint. Maybe I want yellow back there. And for this one, I could stick with the yellow theme. Oh, that's a little off. Um, maybe I want green for that. So whatever you want to do, you can create that color. So maybe you're not into um, this lime color with the black. So if I want to change the color of my text, I would make sure I'm coming over here and maybe white would be the best. Yeah, ooh, or not. <clears throat> maybe a different color. Let's try a different color. Next color, let's try, maybe pink will look good. You never know. Okay, so whatever you want to do, you can shape stuff and you can flip it upside down. Uh, so you can play around here. You can make it as skinny as you want. Uh, and start typing away. And I hope that helps you um, for your concrete poems. And please ask us for help if you need it.